I look naked. I'm not. Today, we're gonna make this dress into another dress. I'm feeling crafty. Not gonna lie, I've been having a huge crush on Lily Rose Depp for like a year, maybe more. Probably more. I've, I've been having crushes on a lot of nepotism babies actually, like Dakota Johnson and her green kitchen, Bella Hadid. And if you, like me, like Lily Rose Depp, which is probably why you clicked on this video, you know that she wore this iconic Chanel dress to the Met Gala. And I want it for myself. And I've never really tried to like thrift flip anything. So this could go horribly wrong, but we're gonna make this very, unwearable dress and we're gonna make it into an even more unwearable dress i guess i could go like as lily rose up on halloween maybe and so over the past weeks i've been gathering all the little things that you need to make a very rad version of this dress um i have this really old necklace stuff like this some thread <laughs> and some chains and honestly finding these chains was one of the hardest things i've had to do for the past like three months I think it was easier not to binge watch Young Royals all in one day than it was to find these fucking chains. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and we can go to the sewing studio. Hello, welcome to my sewing studio. I honestly don't know where the hell to start. found this as well. I think this will be very helpful. My dad left this at my place. Quick little fit check. What do you think? I've been sitting here for like 15 minutes trying to decide where do I start and how do I even do this. I made this drawing of uh, me in the distant future. I'm gonna like try on the dress, measure how I should cut the chain. Does that make sense? In total, I have four meters of chains. I don't know if that's gonna be enough for this many everything, but I'm, I'm really hoping it is. I'm not gonna take off my bra for this, I'm sorry. First, I'm gonna see what the placements for all like the little jewels are. This is a lot more difficult than I wanted it to be. I'm gonna start by sewing on the little jewels so that I can properly sew on the chains. I'm gonna put those here at the top, here for like the, the hips, these little flowers. This is fun. I'm not gonna say that I'm very good at sewing because I'm not. It's it's a really really bad thing to do. But like if some some of my like socks break, I throw them out. I don't fix them, which is a really bad habit. I know. The matter of the fact is, I li I literally went to visit my parents' house only because I needed to steal this thread from them. So. This is one of the most difficult things I've had to do since I had to buy the chains. <laughs> Honestly, what I'm doing, I couldn't even tell you that. Right now, I would love to be that bitch that like makes her own clothes and stuff and like sews everything and does like thrift flips and stuff like that but that's cool we actually did have to sew with sewing machines as girls we had this class where we had to cook learn about food so we had to crochet we even had to like learn how to tie a tie for a man even like my 12 year old self hated that because meanwhile the boys were like doing woodwork or something like that they were like 
making chairs and stuff. And I was like, what if I want to make a chair? Why do I have to like cook? And then the boys would come and eat. What? We did that at school. That's, that's insane. I think I was like mad at the system. Hated the idea of sewing because I was like, why do I have to do this? Okay. I guess now we have to like start with the chains. When I'm away from you. I have finished the jewel. It looks very strange. I think the chains are really gonna pull everything together. Was that a little bit of a innuendo? Okay, whatever. I can say that this was easier to sew on than I thought. However, I don't know how good of a job I did. I don't know if these are gonna just fall off. It's now 3 p.m. I just hope I'm done before midnight. I have to watch the last episode of Young Royals and I really wanna do it tonight because I'm in the mood to cry. These are like the measurements that I need. This is really difficult. <laughs> Guys, this is the most difficult thing I've had to do since I had to put that thread in a needle. <sighs> like, look at my hands. These chains got hands. And I need like a lot of them. I've been struggling here for like 10 minutes and all I've got is this. It has been torture. My hands are like red. I have a blister. <laughs> I have the chains for like sleeves and then I have the chains for the hips for now I'm just gonna start sewing these chains on just to like give my hands just a little bit of a break funny thing about these chains was after I got them my dad picked me up from like the department store he was like oh what what were you doing then? and I said I, I went to buy chains I was the one who told him that like 50 shades is just Twilight fan fiction, which is like a very random fact to know and tell your dad who knows what he thinks What I do in my free time and what I'm gonna do with the chains Hello, it's time to give you an update. So it's Half past five. I have successfully sewed on all of my 12 chains that I had cut I was sewing and I was thinking huge problem about this dress I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to wash it. Looks like this now. I have this much chain left. I won't be able to like decorate the back at all. <laughs> I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get this dress on because this is literally like a tube dress and it doesn't have any zippers or buttons or anything. So I literally have to just like stretch it and get it on. I really hope it's not gonna break on me. I'm literally just starting to sew on my last chain and you know what happens my needle just freaking broke in half i don't have another one i managed to finish it with the broken needle it could look a lot better with more chains but i still think i did a better job than i ever could have expected i, I do have one mistake with this i made like the middle chains too long but i think i can live with that what do we think these are way too long they were like this my measuring of the chains was maybe not the right method okay so now i'm gonna do my makeup a little bit put on some jewelry and do like a final official finished product i didn't shave but i did moisturize my legs for you so if any of you want to do a Lily Rose Depp 2019 Met Gala cosplay with me for Halloween, I think you should because this did take like six hours, which is like five more than I thought it would. But I think it's worth it. Like, look at that. That's cute. I have to go to like a DJ set tomorrow with my friends. Should I wear this? That's like a kind of like an indie hipster sort of place. Imagine, imagine me pulling up from this. <laughs> I guess the lesson of this video is that even if you don't have experience in something, you can still try and possibly succeed. Sort of. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.